Casey Neistat called the Apple Vision Pro the, the future, future of computing. computing. And then Marquez Brownlee said it was more like a fun, fun. but expensive toy. toy. So I spent $4,091 and I went deep down the rabbit hole on what the future of computing looks like. This is the first electronic computer. To calculate 800 times 85, you plugged in wires and flipped switches on a machine the size of a house. Since then, the chips inside of our computers have become much smaller and much more powerful. This is the M2 chip inside the Apple Vision Pro. Two billion transistors in a chip smaller than a human thumb. The M2 chip can do everything from render 3D objects to video editing, which means for most people, you don't need this. Because these chips have gotten so good, most things nowadays can be done on phones. But phones do have one big limitation that the Apple Vision Pro doesn't. Which brings me to my second point. Screens are dead. There's no reason to use a 16 inch screen or five external monitors when you can work on a screen the size of an IMAX theater in the middle of a forest. Everything in Apple Vision Pro looks more real than looking at a computer screen. Videos, guided meditation, interactive experiences. And even though the FaceTime avatars scare the living shit out of me, I believe Cleo that we're going to get closer to feeling like we can teleport. All of this is how much can we trick our primate brains into feeling like we're there with each other in person. All right, this is my favorite part. AI can now do tasks for us. The future of computers might not be typing and tapping at all. It might look very, very different. Typing still doesn't come close to the speed of using dictation or speech to text. And talking to computers is getting a lot easier. This is the Rabbit R1. You can talk to the R1 like a personal assistant and it can do tasks for you, like order pizza. This is another action model called Adept AI, searching Craigslist to find a fridge. Like the R1 Rabbit, it's trained to navigate websites and do all the clicking for you. To me, this feels like everything Siri was supposed to be, but never lived up to. And I think Apple thinks that too, because they're releasing an AI update to Siri this year. If they can nail this, I think the Apple Vision Pro is going to be much more than a toy. This thing has over 10 different cameras all across it. And if there's one thing we know about AI, it's that it's much better with context. Imagine what an AI personal assistant could do if it can see everything you see. My final take? I think Marquez is right. I think this is for most people an expensive toy. Even though having a massive portable screen is much cooler than having a laptop, there's a $3,500 price tag to this thing. And right now there's barely any apps on it. But I think should you buy this right now is a different question than is this the future of computers? And on that question, I think Casey's right. This is where we're headed. Personally, I'd go even further. I'd say that Apple Vision Pro is very likely to replace laptops. I probably won't use it at a party to check notifications, but in the same way that I sit down to work in a focused environment, I'll probably just do that now with the Apple Vision Pro. I think if I hadn't used the Apple Vision Pro and done all this research on what the future of computing might look like, that would sound pretty insane to me. So whether or not you've used the Apple Vision Pro, leave a comment on this video. I'm curious what you think. And follow my page. I wanna release at least two videos per month about big ideas in science and tech. Ideas that have actually changed how I look at the world.